Hello everyone, this is Verma. In this video, we will show you how to make a template to quickly start processing plywood. Also, we will show you the result of the ratio of laser beam speed and laser tube power when engraving on a CO2 laser machine. There is a lot of informative and interesting content ahead, so subscribe to our channel and expand your knowledge and opportunities with Verma. Let's get started. If this is your first machine run, you need to determine the correct focal length. Put a small sheet of plywood or other material you are going to process at an angle to the surface of the table, as in our example. Make sure that the nozzle does not touch it as it moves from the lowest to the highest part of the workpiece. On the controller, select a low travel speed and medium emission power to avoid burning through the workpiece. Press Pulse and move the laser head along our workpiece, from the bottom to the top of the workpiece. There should appear an irregularly wide mark. Mark the center of the thinnest part with a pencil and place the laser head over the mark. The distance from the workpiece to the tip of the nozzle is the correct focal length. Now we can get to work. Let us move on to making a table for engraving. We use Corel Draw to prepare layouts. Our engineers recommend that a similar parameter table is made and amended each time you change a laser tube or start a new piece of equipment for the first time. Such a template is useful not only for beginners, but also for experienced laser equipment owners. The template can be modified according to your requirements. In this video, we will use the Watson 6090LT with a 100 watt Reese laser tube. On our website, you can find a complete list of our machines and accessories. Our managers are always happy to help you with choosing the best option for your tasks. Export the ready-made layout to RDWorks. Mark the text and set the medium engraving parameters in order to mark out and then cut the workpiece. The layout of this template can be found at the link in the description below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Once the workpiece is ready, without moving it, fix it to the honeycomb table with sticky tape. Watson CO2 laser machines can be equipped with iron honeycomb tables. If you work with thin materials, such as fabric or leather, we recommend using neodymium magnets to attach the material to the working area. Back to the settings in the control software. We start with the top row of the squares. Select the figures in turn and assign them a color. Then for each color, set its parameters, disabling the cutting and engraving colors of the text and the contour of the workpiece. Set the speed for the entire row to 100 mm per second and change power according to the written parameters. 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. When moving to the next row, we only need to assign a color to the figures. Keeping the same power setting, we change the speed parameters according to the squares row. Set the focal length and the minimum blowing and start the engraving. Make sure you have done everything correctly and then press Frame. The machine will show you the engraving area. It should run along the borders of our top row. Next step is to press Start and watch the engraving process. Some carbon deposit can occur when engraving at a power of 35% and a speed of 100 mm per second. But there is no need to worry, as this can be cleaned easily with sanding paper. Perhaps for your projects, this kind of deep and dark engraving will be applicable. Wait until the machine has finished engraving. Back to the program and move on to the next row of the figures, setting them to the colors of the previous squares and changing only the processing speed up to 150 mm per second. Change the color of the entire upper row of squares to a color that will not be processed, which in this example is black or green. Press Download, check the processing edges and start the engraving process. Do the same with subsequent rows, only changing the processing speed. The main part of our table is ready. The template is already suitable for a quick start, especially when working with the most common materials. However, that is not all. The last thing to do is set interval millimeters. Go back to the control program. There are four rectangles on the right side. Assign them different colors and go to settings. Select the desired speed and power from the already engraved table and assign these values to all the rectangles. Then change interval 
one by one according to our layout. Start the machine and watch the process. The final step is to grind our template to remove the fouling from the engraving at high power. Such templates are handy for keeping track of the dynamics of laser tube power reduction. Thus, similar tables can be engraved on the different materials you use frequently, and you can always find the best or required mode for the job. Write in the comments what kind of material you would like to see in a similar video. We have done our best to make this video interesting. If you like it, subscribe to our channel and press like. And if you have any questions or suggestions about which topic is best covered in the next video, feel free to write in the comments. Our engineers love to read and answer them. This is Verma. See you in the next video.